Good morning with Entertainment City. I'm Jeremy John. Today we've got Barbara Streisand on tonight's show. The first time she's done something like that in 50 years. Plus Kanye saying that he is the victim and that the media is picking on him. How do you people sleep at night? Well, we'll start with Robin Thicke. Uh, he's in hot water and he's putting the blame on the booze and the pills. Maybe I'm going See, Robin's in a court battle right now. The estate of the late singer Marvin Gaye is suing Robin, saying that he ripped off Marvin's song called Got To Give It Up, which sounds amazingly like Robin's hit Blurred Lines, but Robin is now saying that he had very little to do with the writing of the hit. Thick threw his co-writer under the bus, saying that Pharrell had the beat and wrote almost every single part of the song. Robin adds that he showed up to the studio high on Vicodin and alcohol and wasn't involved really in the creative process at all. Now the lawyers for Marvin Gaye's family pointed out that Robin Thicke said the exact opposite in recent interviews. And Robin again points to the booze and the pills saying he was loaded for every interview following up his monster hit Blurred Lines. Now Thicke says he's been off the pills for two months now but does still drink alcohol. Up next Kanye West. So, Yesterday, the story was that Kanye stopped a concert to make sure that everyone was standing up, including the people in wheelchairs. Then he sent security to check and make sure that those people really needed wheelchairs. Well, last night he had another concert, and no, he didn't apologize, because he's Kanye, he doesn't apologize. Instead, he wants us to take a look at the real Kanye West. I'm a married Christian man with a family. I don't actually know what that has to do with anything, but Kanye pointed out that there are more important stories in the world than him, which is correct and surprising. Correct, because there are important issues in the world right now, and surprising, surprising because Kanye knows that there are things in the world that don't involve him. Shock me. His wife Kim, by the way, took to Twitter to defend Kanye, saying Kanye never asked anyone in a wheelchair to stand up, and the audience video shows that. However, the video we showed you yesterday shows the exact opposite of that. Finally, we're going to end on Barbara Streisand. She was on The Tonight Show last night. It was their first appearance on a late night talk show in 50 years. So Barbara's got a new album. It features duets with other famous singers, including Elvis, Blake Shelton, and Michael Bublé. And Jimmy Fallon was the stand-in for all of them. And I have to be you. Well, some call it fate. It had to be you. I just had to wait. We, we wandered up. Actually, did a pretty good job there, especially with that song. Man, I could listen to her all day. Streisand, of course, was amazing because, well, because she's Streisand. Her new album, Partners, is available now. That's the first look at your entertainment city on this Tuesday morning. Catch the second edition coming up just after 8. And be sure to follow the latest celebrity buzz on Twitter. You can tweet us at NCity. Entertainment City is brought to you in part by Cashmere Bathroom Tissue. Nothing feels like cashmere.